Google VO3 has hit the market hard, pushing the boundaries of what's possible in AI video creation. At this point, chances are you've already come across a few clips powered by this model, they're literally everywhere. Now, while VO performs incredibly well when using a simple text prompt, its photo reference mode still leaves a lot to be desired. The results just aren't clean or consistent. In today's video, I'll show you a simple but powerful fix, a workflow that combines top-tier footage generated with VO3 with the ability to insert your exact face and even sync it to your own voice. That means you'll be able to turn a raw AI video into a fully customized cinematic scene. Before we dive in, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss more content like this. The first thing we'll do is uh, ask ChatGPT to generate a list of tailored prompts made specifically to work well with Google VO3. In my case, I want clean, high-quality portrait shots that will serve as the base for our video. So I tell ChatGPT exactly what I need and hit generate. Alright, I've got a good list here. I'll go ahead and pick the one that fits best for what I'm planning. Now we drop our chosen prompt into VO3, which is currently available inside Freepix AI tools. The process is super straightforward. You pick the model from the drop-down, paste in your prompt, and hit generate. Thankfully, the render time has improved a lot. Back when VO3 first launched, one generation could take up to 40 minutes. Let's wait for the result. Nice, the output looks solid, and it definitely has potential once we enhance it further. Next, we're going to swap the face. And for that, we'll use a free local tool called Face Fusion, which runs through Pinocchio. I won't break down the full install process here, but I'll link a step-by-step -step tutorial in the description so you can set it up from scratch. Once you've got Face Fusion running, just hit Run Default and open the interface in your browser via the local IP address. Here's how it works. You upload a source image, your face, and then select the target footage, which in our case is the VO3 video we just generated. I recommend enabling Face Swapper and Face Enhancer these are your go-to options for clean results. There are other tools like Age Modifier and Expression Restorer that are fun to explore, but those two are your base. Now on screen, you'll see the exact settings I used for this project. There's no universal recipe, so test things out and see what works best for your footage. Boom. We've got the face swapped version, and honestly, it's looking really solid. Now it's time to upscale the footage using Topaz Lab's Video AI. I've made an in-depth video all about this tool, so check that out if you want a deeper dive. For this project, I'm using the RIA XL model, keeping the frame rate untouched, just pushing the resolution up. Export format, ProRes high quality. As always, Topaz does its job perfectly. Sharp, clean, and production ready. Let's keep going. Next up, we want our character to talk. In this case, using my own cloned voice via Eleven Labs. So I'll ask ChatGPT to generate a few fun or dramatic lines of dialogue. And I'll pick one that fits the vibe. Now I'll grab a single frame from our video using Premiere Pro. This frame will become the talking avatar. Then I upload the image and the script into HeyGen using their new photo to video avatar 4 feature. It's simple. Upload your still image, drop in the script and generate. You can also add extra expression control if needed. I've been quiet long enough. It's time they heard me and this time I won't be holding back, and the result looks great. We now combine both clips, the video with the swapped face and the animated talking avatar in Runway Act 1. This merges the mouth and head movement directly into the full body shot. Quick note, make sure to use Gen 3 because Act 1 isn't available yet in Gen 4. I've been quiet long enough, it's time they heard me, and this time I won't be holding back. After render we've got a clean result. The face matches, the sync is tight, and it just works. I'll now do a quick polish in Premiere Pro to color match everything and tighten up the pacing. Final step, we're going to extend the scene with a bit of AI generated b-roll that fits the same vibe. You can't do this directly inside VO3, but this is where Runway Gen 4 comes in. I'll take three still frames from our existing video and ask ChatGPT to help me write a prompt for a matching drone style shot, something wide, cinematic and cohesive. Let's generate. Okay, the first batch didn't land. Try again. Better. This one actually fits well enough that we can generate a full video from it. 
As you can see, using Runway this way gives you a really easy way to build extra transitions or B-roll that keeps everything visually consistent. We animate it just like before. And that's it. A full cinematic workflow combining the power of VO3, Face Fusion, HeyGen, Runway, and Topaz Video AI to create one cohesive, customized video from scratch. If you found this helpful, make sure to hit like, drop a comment, and subscribe for more step-by-step -step AI workflows just like this. All the tools, links, and prompt templates are in the description. Feel free to remix and make them your own. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.